Welcome back, my friends. Let's talk to Murdoch. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll inform Bantigan the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. We're not only ready, Murdoch. We're gonna win. I hope you're right. We may just be village folk, but we're going to fight like there's no tomorrow. I still need to talk to Sir Perth. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge, to the north. I have a good feeling about tonight. I don't like being out here, Dwin. The mayor's giving me the evil eye. Alright, we do need to talk to Sir Perth, but before we do that, let's, uh, let's head up into the village inn. Just cuz, you know. Cuz. Hmm. Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. If you came here for a drink, you'd have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. What do you know about that elf in the corner? Not much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit... creepy. So, shouldn't she be at the Chantry? Later on, yes. Lloyd will lock himself in the cellar, and I'll go to the Chantry. Are you... fighting tonight? Yes, I am. That's... good to hear. I didn't know that. So how's business been? What business? Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. The few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a... greasy pig. And if I didn't need this job so badly, I... Why don't you leave? And go where? With no money and no prospects, I just end up somewhere else working for someone worse. You could leave if you had some help. You mean after the fighting's over? I'd really like that. What would I have to do in return? How about not end up at another tavern? Well, I can't promise that, but thank you. I don't really know what to say. I should go. Keep safe. Let's talk to Berwick. Not looking for company. Strange seeing a fellow elf here. We have nothing in common. You're Dalish. What does that mean? I'm not here to talk. You're simply here to act suspiciously, I take it. <laughs> what? I'm not acting suspiciously. Oh, now that was convincing. Look, just because you're an elf doesn't mean we should be friends. I was just told to... I mean, just leave me alone. What do you mean? What were you told to do? Nothing. Nobody told me to do anything. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. And how do you know I'm a Grey Warden? I just, uh, overheard it, that's all. If you'll excuse me, I want to get to the Chantry before the sun goes down. This will be easier if you just tell me what you're hiding. If I... but I never... Oh, all right, I'll tell you. Just... just don't hurt me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear. Who are they? Who hired you to do this? A tall fellow. I forget his name. He, uh, said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man, Terran Logan's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. What are you supposed to watch the castle for? Just to report any changes. Honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. How do I know you're telling the truth? Here. This is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it. Do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. I think you should help defend Redcliffe tonight. Oh... All right, I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. All right. Interesting. The game does seem to be caught up in the middle of every place we go to, huh? 
let's quickly talk to Sir Perth. Who is up this hill? Have you changed your mind yet? Are you willing to speak seriously? Of your bosom? As you wish. No. <laughs> I do not wish to speak of my bosom. But it is a marvelous bosom. I have seen women half your age who have not held up half so well. Perhaps it is a, a magical bosom? <laughs> Stop talking about my bosom. <laughs> but I thought you wished to speak seriously. <laughs> I do. I thought, however foolishly, that you might be willing to speak of your past. We could do that. There have been many bosoms in my past, <laughs> though only few as fine as yours. Enough. I'm ending this conversation. Oh, Severin. Oh my god. Sir Perth. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know how to address an elf in your position. I do not wish to be rude. Call me Ren, if you would. As you wish, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah oh, well, with a great warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. Is there anything I can do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. I'll see what I can do. That gladdens my heart to hear it. Carry on. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Always struck me about how like oh. intensely sincere and like polite Sir Perth is. Like, even if you're an elf, he addresses you with such such respect. Say no more. It's actually kind of amazing. Anyway, let's quickly pop into the chantry to talk to Mother Hannah about holy protection or whatever. It's all mumbo jumbo to Ren. Like, holy protection from your sky maker. Got it, Broadwink. And while we're in there, we might as well also check on Caitlyn. Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. Just stay safe, both of you. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. Let us pray. You are of elven blood and a stranger, yet you defend a home that is not your own. We are grateful for that. Is there any reason I shouldn't help? Many elves claim we wouldn't do the same in return. I would like to think that is not true, but I cannot speak for all. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. Surely this cannot be the entire village. These few are all who are left. All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Sir Perth needs holy protection for the knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. What do you mean? Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures, a shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. Hmm? Well, something we have to do with that, then. Indeed. I know Sir Perth means well, but I will not lie to him about something so important. I should go. May the Maker watch over you, child. 
Alright. That's about as far as Ren gives a fuck. Oh, you can't do holy protection? Okay. Sure, bye. And now I think the only thing left to do is uh, let's wait for midnight. Let me quickly check the tactics. Uh, Alistair Defender. Lynn Healer. Severin. Scrapper. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Murdoch. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. I'm ready to make my stand. Let's wait for sundown. Are you sure? There's still time left if you need to talk with Sir Perth or do anything else. No, I'm ready now. Then good luck to you. You'll need it. For the second half of this fight, I am going to be playing win, because I am going to try to go for the hat trick and make sure that everyone survives the night. And the best way to do that is by playing a healer. I'm actually quite good at playing healers, um, which, uh, just generally speaking, like back when I played World of Warcraft, I always mained a healer, stuff like that. Um, but it makes me sad because you can't really be a healer in uh, Inquisition. Best you can do is like put up shields and shit. They're coming. Get to your positions. Make ready. I know, sir. Fucking killed it with this soundtrack. Ugh. So good, it's disgusting. Alright, who's ready to party? I'm ready to fucking party! Apparently these guys aren't, aren't ready to party. Are you guys coming? You guys coming? Hello? There we go. Let's get the party started! Someone's going to fall. Sure won't be me. You guys all right up there? Okay. Now is better than later. Let's see if we can. Ma'am, you're gonna regret this. Ooh, now the fun part. Templar's gonna fucking help. Thank you, Jesus. You let our family Checking my healer. And stay down. It's a massacre, and no one's getting out alive. Watch in horror as I rip you apart. Run while you still can. Come on! <laughs> you can't be 
series. This'll be fun! I think that's all of them, yes? The monsters are attacking from the lake! They're attacking the barricades! We need help! Knights, stay here and guard the path! Come on! We need to hurry! And like I said, I'm gonna quickly switch to win. And so from now on, I am a healer. I'm going for the hat trick. I'm gonna make sure everyone survives. I'm gonna do my level best. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. What's the situation? Everyone looks okay. Um. God, why is this hopper so messy? Ah! Stop it! It's all the way over here, so don't fucking trigger that again. Looks like he's doing it. Okay. Okay. Thomas. Watch in Ooh. horror as I rip you apart. <laughs> Oh man, I think I pulled it off. I think I fucking did it. Did I fucking do it? I think I fucking did it. Yes! I did 
did it. Awesome. Whew. I can definitely imagine Ren's order being Dawn arrives, my save the villagers and first. All of us remain. We are victorious. And it is these good folk you see beside me that we have to thank for our lives today. Without their heroism, surely we would all have perished. I bow to you, sir. The Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Allow me to offer you this, the helm of Sir Ferris the Red, my great uncle and hero of Ferelden. He would approve passing it to one so worthy. Keep it. I don't need any reward for this. Nonsense, good sir. I am glad to part with it, I insist. Take it then, and use it in good health. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Now they walk with he who is their maker. Long may they know the peace of his love. Gods above ease their passing. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Hooray! Everyone lived. Just this one time. Everyone lived. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I think finally we can get the second point of lock picking. Hooray! You saved us. I can't believe we're alive and it's finally over. What are you gonna do now? With mother and father both gone, I suppose they'll send us to an orphanage, maybe separated. At least we're both alive. I won't forget what you did, though. Neither of us will. Thank you. Why do you have to go to an orphanage? With mother and father dead, we don't have any money. I think we have relatives in Denerim, but we've no way to get there. We'll be fine. I promised mother I'd see to Bevan's safety, and I will. Perhaps I could help you get to Denerim. Oh, your path is probably much too dangerous for us. There are wagons going there, but it would be expensive. I'm sure 500 silver would cover it. That's... that's incredibly kind of you. This is more than I ever dreamed of. With this, I can hire a wagon to take us to Denerim. We have family there, and they'll take us in for sure now. Come on, Bevin, let's find one now. Make a watch over you. I'll never forget you. Aww. Ren's kind of a big old softy, especially if there are kids involved. He'll bend over backwards to help a child. The end is upon us. The dead rise and foul magic spreads across the land. Repent your sins before death. Beg for the Maker's divine forgiveness. Please calm down. You're hysterical. I... I don't mean to. I, I just need to tell everyone. They need to know. They need to repent before... Before it's too late. I was too late for my wife. She died so horribly. And she, she was not repented. I need, I need to help everyone to prepare. I'm so sorry. Perhaps I could help you? Help me? There is no help for me. I just miss my wife so much. This is all so horrible. I... I think I just need to sit down. I need to collect myself. Calm that guy down. There's really only one more person we need to talk to before we head up to find Ben Tegan. Ren does not make promises lightly. But then later. I admit, for a while, I didn't think either of us would survive. It's good to see you did. I believe I made you a promise. You mean about helping me leave? I... I wouldn't hold you to that. You've already done so much for us. Nonsense, I want to help. What do you have in mind? How about 500 silver? That should be enough to start a new life. 
But how could get me to Denerim? What would you want in return for such a gift? How about a promise not to work in a place like this? Thank you. I... I can never repay this, but I'll think of a way. I swear. Ah, yes. Ren, who has never had this much money in his entire life. Hundred gold. He doesn't really know what to do with it. He doesn't really understand currency, so he's just gonna give it to people who seem like they could use it. And, um, that should be a good stopping point for tonight. When next we meet, we'll speak to Bantigan and we'll infiltrate Redcliffe Castle to see what was causing these attacks. See you then!